Hello and welcome to the WCMO production staff. This training will walk you step by step through what all goes into producing a daily newscast, from script to what the on-air talent sees and shares with the community. Terms that you will hear throughout this training include stacking, blocks, packaging, video overlay, rundown, and tease. Stacking refers to how a newscast is constructed. It deals with the types of stories used during each block. Blocks are segments of a newscast which consist of similar types of stories. Packaging refers to news stories produced outside of the studio by a corresponding reporter and that are used during the newscast to supplement or replace a block. Video overlay is a term that we use to represent the corresponding video downloaded from our CNN affiliate, CNN News Source. A rundown is a sophisticated list of the stacked newscast that informs the director, technical director, soundboard manager, and accompanying video personnel what all is going on throughout the newscast. A tease is a very short line or two that the on-air talent says to draw in the viewer to stick around after the commercial break. There are several steps to producing a newscast. However, for this part of the training, we are going to focus on stacking a block and working with the software that we use. This part of the production process can be broken up into three steps. Stories, Newsroom, and Rundown. Section 1, Stories. In every newscast, there are four local stories, four regional stories, preferably Ohio-based, three national or international stories, one entertainment package, as well as four sports stories. Contact your writers the night before your newscast and assign their stories based on relevant events. Your writers must email your stories by your deadline in order for you to have ample time to complete the production process. If you do not have writers for your assigned day, then it is up to you to find an engaging local stories either through the college or from local media outlets such as the Marietta Times or the Parkersburg Sentinel. Stories for the region, national or international, and sports can all be found through AP Exchange or CNN News Source. We also include an entertainment minute during our newscast, but you are not responsible for writing this story because CNN News Source provides it daily in conjunction with the video package and overlay that we download. Now once you have acquired all 12 stories that you would like to use during the newscast, copy and paste all of the stories into a Word document in sequential order. Make sure to select the entire document and standardize the typeface both by font and size. This is a crucial step that will affect your honor talent if forgotten. Now, when you were assigned this production role, you should have been given both an example script and an example rundown in digital form. If you've not received these, please contact your station manager. Now, what I like to do is actually work off of that example script. It clearly shows the block order, and after I've edited through stories and made sure that they're the right size of about a paragraph, then we replace the stories in the example script with my current ones. It just makes things a lot simpler. Now remember this block order for your stories. A block is local stories, B block is regional, C block is international or national and the entertainment package, and D block is sports stories. Generally, our teases don't change that dramatically, so working off of the example script just makes things a lot easier and you don't reinvent the wheel. Now, once all of your stories have been formatted, you can go in and copy and paste each story to the corresponding spot in your example script and then reword your tease so that it reflects what's coming up in the stories. Now, after your script is complete, send a copy to the email provided by your station manager. The script will then be accessed through this email uh, by the iPads. Section 2, Using Newsroom. Now, after you've sent a copy of the script to the iPads, it's time to transfer the script into the Newsroom software. Newsroom is used to build what the on-air talent sees from the teleprompter during the newscast. In order to access Newsroom, you must log in under your account and click on the Newsroom icon on the desktop. It will then ask for your username and password, which will be located on the top right-hand corner of the monitor that you are using. Once in the program, click on Cast Edit icon and choose your day under this tab. Now right here is where you see the basic rundown format that the software uses to build what is seen on the prompter. Each title represents a segment of a block. In order to input your script into this rundown, double click on the segment that you wish to edit and copy and paste the corresponding story into the page. You must then save the software by clicking 
the icon that looks like two papers and an arrow. Then in order to see the change that you have made, hit the refresh icon, which looks like an exclamation point surrounded by an arrow. Once you have input each part of your script into its corresponding segment of the rundown in Newsroom, go up to Cast and click Save to iPrompt. Section 3, Building the Rundown. Once again, there's no use reinventing the wheel here. You, with the example rundown that you were given, there's not much that you actually have to change. All you have to do is change the day, date, story topics, and whether or not you have video overlay for any given story. Now, please remember to print out enough rundowns for all camera operators, production staff, and on-air talent. This concludes today's instruction. I hope that this training video has been helpful and informative. If you have any concerns about content of stories or changes in software, please contact the WCMO advisor.